Welcome back, Welcome everybody. Back. Welcome everybody to... <laughs> Why did you do it? I'm... Um, I'm not going to do, do this. this. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi guys, welcome. And we are, like we, it's like, we now come to a flashbacking, or a, we, we now come back, flashback, we now come back to like a alien having a seizure. Okay, uh, well, uh, I literally just had a question, what? what? Okay. What were we, I mean, I know, I know what we were talking about before, but I totally forgot what I was just going to ask. Um, I don't know, we were talking about my grandpa. I, yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, so like, he's like... So like, but yeah. So they just because it was just kind of a lot of people joined the war, uh, the army because. See, my grandpa joined the army before the war started. He just joined the army because it was like a better opportunity for him because he had like eight brothers and sisters and they were like super poor and they couldn't make a living. So all right, so grandpa went off and he would send his checks back home to help support everybody. Oh, um, right on. That's cool. Man. So so by the time the war started, he was actually at home and then he got. I don't know if he got called back, but like eventually he was like a sar he became a sergeant. Um, do, you, do you think that like, um, well, dang man, I mean, so that was so he he he, he had a lot of stories to tell. Well, no, I mean yes and no. Like, I think anybody he, that goes in the service has some kind of story. Well, yeah, and like he's got a lot of fun stories, but like he, you know, World War Two is really messed up because he went overseas. He he liberated one of the concentration camps. There were like 13 main concentration camps and he liberated one of them. He was on the Dang, team. Dang, which one? You remember? It was, I don't, it's, it's called, it starts with D. I don't really remember actually. Dude. But, but the thing is like, you know, when it comes to wartime, like a lot of those guys didn't really talk about it because it was just, they were just doing their duty because you know what I mean? They killed people, you know? But right. that's not something they ever talked about. Um, it's like, um, Nice. There we go. Um, but yeah, so like, but we have like, there's like a map up there I should show you. Like we have hanging up of like, it, it's a, um, it's like a map of where his in infantry, um, there, where they, where they went once they went overseas. Um, right on. That's pretty cool. They have yeah. That. And like, he was actually, he was, in, I don't even, I don't, but I know he was like in a tank brigade. He, he like, I don't know if he drove a tank, but I know he was like definitely in a tank. Um, but he, you know, he has some funny stories, like, they would just kind of, it was just pretty common, like, if you saw just kind of a random beat-up house, they would just kind of go and, like, raid it a little bit. So, like... <laughs> there you go. I can see that. Ah, that thing, I swear to God. Where'd it go? Okay. So, but yeah, so they, there was, like, one story Grandpa would tell, um, uh, they went into this house, and I, my Grandpa wasn't, like, a huge drinker, but, like, they found this, like, some uh, alcohol in there. And so they were like, oh, okay, we'll drink it. And my grandpa was like, that was some, it was some strong alcohol. But he, he's, he never, he never really talked about the war, though, or about any experience. My, these, and these are all stories of my dad, because my grandpa died before I was born. Um, mm. but, like, he want, he, grandpa, he didn't really even tell stories, it was just kind of like little things, but, um, after, dad, I guess grandpa told dad about, uh, the concentration camp, and he said after, after that, after he, you know, liberated, he said he wanted, oh, I kill him? Whoa, I killed him. Wow, maybe you're that, so, wow, when, when does your sword grow some balls? Yeah, seriously, that doesn't, usually that takes way longer. Um, but he said, he just said he wanted to kill every Nazi he could find, because, I mean, it really messed up, you know? So, um, so, yeah, I mean, it, and it's cool, you know, the, those kinds of things, and then, you know, he came, he came home after the war was over, and he met Grandma, and they got married, and, um, yeah, you know, the rest is kind of history. Well, that's great, man. Like, but I mean, it, and it, I feel really lucky, because, like, most people, like, their grandpas, their grandmas and grandpas were born in, like, you know, the, the 40s, but mm -hmm. my, my dad was an accident baby, like, later on in my grandparents' life, mm -hmm. so my, gra my grandparents were, like, 40 when they had 40. My, my dad. So, oh, okay. so they're like super old and I, for like a normal, no, I'm not saying like it's normal, but like my other grandparents are like in their seventies. Right, right. Now, and, and you know what's crazy typical. is that you have literally grandparents, like your grandma, like born in the twenties and she was, you know, she's been around. Well, yeah. you know, the, but, but kids nowadays have grandmas that were like from the eighties and like from like, that went to Woodstock and all that. Like, yeah. like, isn't that crazy? Like, it's crazy. Like the whole of how, like 
the gap is. Yeah, like, cause, and it's weird because like, like I'm in American history right now, and like we're in a point in history where like my grandma was alive and like doing stuff. Right, you and know? you know, I always think about that, you know, because I like I'm obsessed with how things used to be, like, mm-hmm. but I'm never gonna know, and that's what bothers me is because. I'm always like, like, don't get me wrong. I'm totally in love with the now. I live in the now, no matter what. You know, I, lo- I love like, history. I've always loved history. I love, well, I love some history. Like, I'm not like, like it depends. Like, I don't like the taxation, you know, and all well, that. Of like, of course. I mean, they're like, but, but like the cool history, like, you know, like, like I mean, but I guess cool. That's kind of like a biasm thing. Like, it what's what's cool to me may not might not biased. be cool to some bias. Is it biased? Yeah. Well, well, I, I failed English. Um. <laughs> uh, anyway, so. <laughs> You know, it, 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 so we're talking about history, damn it, not English. Yeah. Um, but, anyway. um, yeah, yeah, so t- what's cool, we might not be cool to some other people, you know? It's yeah. Just, but that's what's cool about history is that somehow I think it appeals to everybody. I mean, because everything has a history. Yeah. You know, so. You're like, you know, my grandma was born in the Great Depression, and she was born during Prohibition. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God, yeah. Which that is, like, been... which is a weird time for America. Dude, do you think your grandma ever met Al Capone? I'm probably not. She should have. Gosh, dang it, this thing, okay, that thing wrecked me. I'm um, cause like, uh, come on. Well, I'm gonna get this thing. There we go. But, you know, like my grandma, like I don't know, she was just like, she and she grew up on a farm. My my grandpa, well, her dad, my great grandpa, they were all. Most of my family is like German, and uh, my great grandpa wasn't born in Germany, but his parents were, I think. And my great grandpa could speak fluent German. Oh, really, dude? But he never, he never did it though, because when he was younger and going to school, all the kids would make fun of him because he uh. couldn't speak English. So he was actually, he became really ashamed of his heritage. That's so he bummer. never spoke German. Um, kids are dicks, right? Um, anyway, it's boss time, by the way. Didn't so. we just fight some? Wait, is, is this like the most really annoying boss you're talking about? Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was like this a is fish. like. And it, I mean, oh like, God. it's just pretty intense, actually, for this early in the game. You have to free him up. So this is basically cancer that's just pissing, uh, pissing Jabu Jabu off, more or less. Come on. Hold on. Oh, but yeah, dude, that, 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 what you said, it totally bothers me about how, like, they, they, like, all the kids are, like, making fun of them, so, like, they kind of switch them off of the whole yeah, German I mean, thing. And that, you know what, kid, like, what the f- Like, I guess it's gonna happen. I mean, like, like kids, you know, are kids, and if they see something different, they're gonna automatically peg it as an outsider. But, yeah. Like, like, but, what, but and especially in that time, you know, yeah, like, it was, yeah. it was pretty common. Like, it, it's just, like, in the 50s and shit, how, like, kids would, like, disc- discriminate on the blacks, you know, I mean, like. Yeah, I mean, it's the same story. I mean, but, because, like, there was a lot of things, like, I mean, I, not really when my grandpa was go- growing up, but, like, especially, like, during, like, the whole, like, from 1910 to about, through a lot of the 1920s, there was this huge fear of, like, immigrants, because everyone was, like, everyone thought that all immigrants were just bringing communism. Right. And everyone was terrified Dude, of Dude, some of the nicest people I've met aren't American. <laughs> you know what yeah, I'm saying? Well, like, yeah, exactly. like, what does that tell you? It's like, come on, you get your crap together, America. But, so, yeah, I don't know, like, but, um... So I, I don't know, like I'm super proud of my heritage. Oh yeah, because it's cool. It's cool to look at. My grandma's got all these like super old pictures. I I don't think I've showed them to you, but I totally should sometimes. Yeah, they're, for real. They're so cool. My grandma's got these old pictures, and there's like, there's uh, there we go. Well, I mean, like, like what is your heritage? Because I mean, like you probably know your heritage more than I know mine. I mean, I don't really. Well, there's just a lot of German, um, like almost, almost completely German. Like on my dad's side, it's exclusively German, I think, with, like, nothing else, really. Um, oh, there we go. And so there's a lot of German, but, like, on my mom's side, you go to my mom's side, then you get, like, a lot of different kind of European. Uh, there's, like, gosh, dang it. Great. There's um, Scottish. There's American Indian, um, which I am uh, half I'm half Indian legally. Genetically, I'm like like a 32nd. Uh, but there's a there's a whole story there. Like Jeez. so, there's like American Indian, and that's pretty. That's, I mean, that's I mean, I'm not really at all. It's kind of a big lie, but uh, it's cool, man. It's still cool, you know. And so, you know, like, I like looking at the history, but like, so there's this one, there's this one picture of my my great grandpa. That was taken in like 1913, which was like over 100 years ago. My grandma has this picture of him when he when he was 18. Uh, he turned 18, and they took a picture, I guess, with him and a, his friend. 
It's such a cool picture. Because yeah, yeah, be he was a pretty guy. I mean, like, he was a pretty guy. Like, he was that beautiful. guy. He was a looker, man. It's like, no wonder I had a, I had a grandma. Yeah. <laughs> it, seriously, though. But yeah, so, you know, I don't know. I like I like history and stuff. And looking uh, yeah, at man. family's Absolutely. history. Because it's cool. Absolutely. It's, um, it's always cool to know where you came from. It is. It is. It really is. Um, I don't really, I mean, my, mine's too, I like, I don't really know too much on mine. Like, I know that, like, I don't know. I, I need to sit down and talk to my mom about it for real. But, um,. Crap, I work today. I didn't even think about it. Wait, we're gonna... Really? Yeah. I mean, like, like it's not like I'm late or anything. I don't work till... Yeah. It, Domino's isn't even open right now. But... Which, by the way... We're gonna go through this cutscene and then we'll end the episode. Alright. Then I'll talk about it. Then I'll talk about it for the next episode. What? Oh, oh man. Uh, I'll do it. I've got time. There's cutscene. Oh, okay. Uh, well, so... I got this job, right? Uh, I got two jobs in auto shop and Domino's, but he recently... Woods is wanting to hire me. Mm -hmm. In the supermarket, like I said. Something about dropping the auto sure. shop job. Well, I mean, that is, it's like in Lamar, so I mean, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, but dude, I'm not gonna lie, college is kind of kicking my ass right now. Like, well, then, I'm th I'm quit thinking. your auto shop job and don't take the one at Woods. That's what I was thinking. Like, and that's what I'm kind of leaning or, towards. Maybe you could take the one at Woods and quit Domino's because Domino's works you till the middle of the night, and that's not what you want as a college student. Oh, uh, I'd rather have it that way than, like, I mean, like, like for real. I mean, if they work me every day, the thing is, is that they're not gonna work me all day long. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, yeah. sometimes I'll have a split shift. You know, so and split shifts are nice. But oh, this is a little important. You mean my mother gave it to me and said I shouldn't give it only to the man? I should give it only to the man who will be my husband. You might call it Zora's engagement ring. You're gonna marry her? I mean, I don't really want to, but the thing is, I want that. I, w I need that stone. So you're gonna marry her? I'm gonna say I'm gonna marry You're her. You're dick. Whatever. I mean, I bet you. I mean, like, I mean, she's kind of cute in like a fish alien <laughs> like type weird, way, you know? like a very weird way. Dude, I'm, I am. I'm not gonna lie. I'm. I, I'm trying to have a healthier lifestyle, but I am kind of craving McDonald's breakfast. That's good. We'll go get. We, we we should go get some. We should. You know, we deserve it because why? I don't know. We work hard. We hard. Do we hardly work? Ha. 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 Chill out. Um. You know, like, there we go, and I've got all the three spiritual stones, and those are the things you have to collect. So now we're an adult. Well, I mean, we'll get there. We'll have to see. Next episode is going to be probably completely a cutscene, because once we get there, because, oh my god. Is it that long? I mean, just, yeah. I mean, there's just My a, dear Because, I mean, god. that was the thing about this game, you know, it just, it changed so much, there was just so much story, and there was so much that you could get emotionally invested on. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, um, we'll end the episode here, guys. Um, we'll see you tomorrow. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes tomorrow, because we're going to head right into the adult timeline. Yeah, right into the adult timeline, um, man. So that's, so, so that's exciting. So You don't episodes, have to watch it. Next but... episode, grab some popcorn, because this is going to be story central. Yeah. All right. Love you guys. Thanks love you guys. Watching. Check you later, dudes.